good morning. So yeah, uh, next project. Um, this project was actually inspired by some vintage film footage that I saw a couple of months ago. And it was actually from the Bristol Motor Show in 1966, because Mini actually showed a concept car, which was an electric Mini based around the then uh, Countryman estate. So a few decades later, technology has moved on. So I thought now would be a good time to revisit that particular subject because the packaging of the Mini is intriguing and certainly classic car futures look a little more challenging because of the emission controls. So why not attempt electrification? I've been talking to a couple of companies over the last uh, few months and most of them were American based and largely in California. Uh, because there are a couple of companies that already do Volkswagen conversions, Volkswagen Beetles and camper vans. Um, but they're expensive and they would require quite a lot of re-engineering in order to fit into a classic Mini. And obviously I'm not too clean on shipping a car over to the States and not being in control of the project myself. Now luckily timing is good because there are two companies in Europe now that are about to commercialise two electric powertrain systems, one in Germany and one in the UK. So this seemed like a very good time to purchase a project vehicle and uh, look at converting to electric for the future. So uh, I will stop jabbering and show you around the car. So it is a right and drive model and looking at uh, documentation and some of the stickers in the car it came from the north of England so maybe uh, someone out there actually recognizes this model and has some more history on it but it's in fairly good condition um, there's some issues with the uh, rain gutter which is uh, fairly common on these models but by and large panels are very good it's got some original features like the uh, demister strip on the top here which is an aftermarket one sold by uh, Paddy Hopkirk. It's actually quite a nice uh, feature for a classic Mini. Um, outside of that, really the condition is fantastic. Still got the 10 inch wheels of course. Um, we'll probably upgrade those. Uh, but outside of that, I'm not entirely sure how far we will go with the restoration. There are some small spots as you can see on the front here from stone chips that have not been taken care of over the years but again not really structural and it looks like at some point the car's had a new interior because the condition of the interior is uh, quite impressive as you can see obviously that's not the original steering wheel that looks like it's from a metro but by and large door cards are all good, floors are good, uh, just needs a little bit of TLC. Door frames are all good, doors are good. And particularly important on these models is the condition of the rear doors. And as you can see here, they're very good. Obviously they need some new rubbers, and that's quite easy to do. Inside, no damage or rust. So it's actually in fantastic condition and even more pleasing is if you look at the rear floor actually you could call it immaculate for a vintage car so very pleased with this find there's a little bit of uh, seam rust here that needs to be taken care of but again overall very pleased with the condition and I think it will be a great basis for an electric vehicle moving forward because it does have the space that would be required to do that um, there's no point in showing you the engine it's a 1098 engine uh, but the engine is going to be taken out anyway um, so yeah this is the winter project obviously we are still working on the grey uh, rollback roof one in the background but that's going to be finished in the next few weeks and then we'll start to pull this one apart 
and decide how far we want to go with the, res uh, with the restoration because as I said it's in such good condition maybe we'll leave the interior and just repair some of the small exterior parts because the main focus will obviously be on the electric drivetrain system so stay tuned please like and subscribe if you want to see how this project evolves over time and I'm looking forward to sharing with you the final results.